Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, We've got a can of Shadfly Rattler by the New Ontario Brewing Company. Hell yeah! Been a little while since I reviewed one of my hometown breweries beers. Even though this is up. I reviewed this last year, I believe, around this time-ish. But they changed the recipe a little bit according to Mike the Brewmaster. So I'm going to give it a shot if I can get my finger under the damn tab. Crack it open. And let's see what we have got. If I remember correctly, I was not a big fan last year, and there's a good chance I'm not going to be a huge fan this year, because it's like, it's grapefruit. Grapefruit is not something I'm a big fan of, but we'll see, and we'll get a picture, and then we'll go from there. A crap ton of bubbles on the side of the glass there. It's kind of interesting. Haven't seen something like that in a little while. I don't know. Head disappeared quite quickly. Doesn't smell super grapefruity. has almost a bit of a sour beer aroma. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. That's not bad, actually. It's almost apple-y, which I see here there is apple juice in it. That's decent. One of the better grapefruit Rattler things I've had, for sure. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And, you know, cheers, New Ontario. The beard, he loves you. You know it. Yeah, the grapefruit in there is balanced out really, really nicely with the apple flavor. So it's not like a grapefruit punch to my taste buds. NewOntarioBrewing.com is their website, even though it is in pretty dire need of uh, some updates, I gotta say. This is going down really, really easily. Wow. I wanna say it's pretty light too. I think it's 4.0, oh, yes, 4% alcohol. Ingredients are water, barley, wheat, grapefruit, apple juice, hops, and yeast. No date, only available at the brewery. They do have dating stuff for their cans, but it's one of the most temperamental things they've ever purchased from what I've heard. And sometimes cans will get dates and sometimes they won't. They, they're, they're on it. They'll get it fixed. I believe in them. It's, it's almost not even like a beer. It's weird. It's like refreshing and nice and just fruity. Not really sure what to adequately compare it to. It doesn't taste anything like any other Rattler I've really had. Those ones are just like so heavy on the grapefruit flavor sometimes or, or so light on the fruit flavoring like the raspberry one I had from Sawdust City. This one's just really, really nicely done. Good on you, Mike. Rating. I'm not quite sure about this because there's a good chance some of these ratings are from last year's batch because according to Untapped, it's no longer being produced by the brewery. But 25 IBUs. I'm not sure if that's a thing that's on the can. I don't think it is. No, it's not. But uh, 3.69 out of 5 overall. 53 ratings. So... Definitely not a beer that made it very far out of North Bay, I'm guessing. Drinking one at New Ontario. At Long Branch? I have no idea what that is. Actually, though, according to the dates on, on a good number of these reviews, they're this year, so that's cool. Very light and not a lot of grapefruit. 
and that's a good thing. It's just nice and tasty. Well done. Yeah, one of the better ones I've had in a while. For sure. It's so nice. Rape beer! Doesn't have enough ratings. There's one. Yeah, and he gave it a 3.7. And it was on Les Ostiers. So apparently it's a wonderful summer quaff. And Beer Advocate did not find anything. So that's that. I am highly impressed. I really expected to not be a fan. I want to say last year's, I really didn't like very much. Actually, I wonder if I search on my channel, New Ontario Shad, nope, that's not how you close, Shad, Fly. Yeah, my spelling's off. No, really? Did I not review last year's? I know I had some last year. New Ontario. New Ontario. I had a, I've had a bunch of their beers, but no, apparently I didn't. Oh wait, no, there's more down here. But still not seeing it. Really? Really? Well, son of a bitch. No, the way there's even more down here. Jesus, this is ridiculous. I searched for New Ontario on my YouTube page and it's giving me like New Ontario stuff and then stuff that has nothing to do with New Ontario and there's like YouTube, your search uh, algorithm or whatever you call it is not overly impressive but I think that's all of them now and no, I did not review that somehow. Excuse me. Bad flavors there. I'm quite surprised by that. Regardless, I can tell you right off, last year, I didn't even realize that, that's not right, it's gonna be straight. Last year's really wasn't for me. This is. Like the lingering flavor even is just, the fruitiness kind of fades away and then there's a little bit of that, that really nice malty flavor that I like. It kind of lingers around the back of my throat. It's lovely. New Ontario. Big fan. Drink of the last. <sighs> Lots of damn right. New Ontario Brewing Company, your Shadfly Rattler. Didn't even put Grapefruit Rattler on there because it's not really. It's not a Grapefruit Rattler in my opinion. It's a Grapefruit Apple Rattler. Works. Rating on this beer, fucking nine. That was really nice. I am a big fan. And I want to, I'm going to get some more now. Because I, I didn't have any more because I haven't tried it yet this year because I was scared of it. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you see more of my videos, be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you've got something to say to me, put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! I've been thinking about trying to do a review with Oreo sitting right here, but I really don't think he'd stay for the entire thing. Within a couple minutes, he'd probably start whining. But isn't he cute? Isn't he adorable? Yes, yes he is. Hey, no, no! Okay.